we have a public library and the largest insane asylum in the state. Come on, Joe. Let it down. All right, all right. Slacken it up, will you? They sure were great fights last night, O'Hare. Yes, they were, yeah. Never saw a better fight in my life. I got a kick out of the myself. So did I, so did I, so did I. I fought like a couple of dressmakers. When I see fights like that, I feel like getting back into condition and getting into the fight game myself again. Ah, that's better. Hello, O'Hare. What do you know? Not a thing, not a thing. That lug tells his wife everything he knows. I should tell him anything. Good morning, Mr. O'Hare. Oh, good morning, Mr. Scoggins. How's Mr. Scoggins? He's not so well this morning. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm worried about him. Yeah, I am too. He was out on one of his benders last night again. Why, I can even drink that raw alcohol and live, I don't know. Fine Mary he is. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. I think all I gotta do all day long is paint that pool. Pop, Mom says for you to come up and get your fiddles right away. Get my fiddles? I'll be right with you, Ronald. Pop, you wanna hear a riddle? I'd love to hear a riddle, Ronald. What is it? I'm afraid you have me, Ronald. Why is a cat tail like a long journey? But it's first in the end. Oh, Ronald, very good. You're absolutely side splitting. Sit down and eat your dinner. Want no meat? Vegetables contain more minerals. Huh? You want to hear another cat riddle? Yes, I would, Ronald. I'd love to. What looks most like a cat looking out of a window? I don't know. What looks most like the domestic feline contentedly gazing from the window? I'll tell you, Pop. What looks most like a cat looking out of a window? Another cat looking in. <laughs> oh, very good, Ronald. Very good. <laughs> eat your spinach. Eat your spinach. Eat your spinach. Pop, would you like to hear another riddle? Don't encourage him. Eat your carrot. My dear, that shows he's awfully smart. Mr. Lincoln used to tell riddles, and not as much as anything else, made him the wonderful president that he was. Huh? Why is a load of hay like a mouse? <gasps> Don't, my poor brain. He gives me soul pains with these terrible wheezes. Do you know why a load of hay is like a mouse? No, Ronald, I do not. I've never noticed a similarity between the small rodent and the large amount of horse's provender? Why does a small rodent resemble a load of hay? Because cattle eat it. <laughs> cattle eat it. Cattle eat it. Very good, Ronald. Very good. Eat your spinach. Eat your spinach. Eat your spinach. Hey, what are you? Yes? Coming, coming, coming. Pardon me, sir. Coming, 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 coming. Hey, what are you? Somebody told me that you wanted to buy a fiddle. Well, as a matter of fact, a few weeks ago I did, but I had Lena all fixed up, and I'm perfectly satisfied with her now. And me push him for three miles. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, hey, hey, boy. Can I keep him here till I come back from work? Oh, right? surely, surely. Put him right in the corner here. That's fine. Uh, put him right in there. That's okay. Yeah. That's fine. You take a good care of him. Eh? I'll take good care of him, yes. Hello, boy. Goodbye. Well, I just not. I don't want to Mind your mind or whatever it is. How do you do, Horton? Or, uh, Miss Shug? Have a nice lunch? Yes. I had a wonderful steak at the lunch counter. Steak. I love meat. But, uh, we never have it at our house. My wife's a vegetarian. All we have is vegetables. Say, I was uh, practicing last night on Lena out in the garage. 
And I think I got that down fine now. Would you mind listening to it? Oh, I'd love to. You like that? I think it's sweet. Yeah, I think it's much better than what Jesse. Isn't it funny? My wife doesn't think it's music. Jesse just has no ear for it. Here's the other one. This is the second note here.
Just, just step right this way, will you? Right in here. Here's the room right here. Just go into this hangar. Change your clothes in there. If you ever took a shoes off, it's right up in the air. Hey, what's that dog doing in here? Oh, it's a very funny thing. The other day, a man was in here, and I was shaving him. The razor slipped, and I cut his ear off. The dog got it. Ever since, he's been hanging around here for... Go away, go away, go away. He's going to get another... He can't get another ear here. I won't set it. Well, got to follow through the same as you do with a hockey club. I just sharpened these razors up a moment. And... Ah, there you are. Here we are. Here's the steam room. Right in there. Right in there and sit down. And uh, I'll turn the steam on right away. Come on, Ethel, get excited. There you are. Now, uh, don't stay in here over a minute. See, and uh, if it gets too hot, just uh, press that button and the light will go on. And if you get in any trouble, just pull that rope and the horn will blow up there, and I'll get you right out. Now, it won't be long. He's in there a minute, it'll take a ton off of him. Just one little hot towel and we'll be right through with you. You've heard the last of this. You're mistaken. Mm -hmm. 
You deliberately locked me in that room. Why, that's a colossal fib. I'm a very kind-hearted person. I've never hurt man, beast, or child. Except when I had to. Well, Lena, let's get going. I'm glad you liked it. I'd like to have my little girl's hair cut. Oh, sure, lady. She's a very pretty little girl. I'd love to cut her hair. Thank Just you. Just because I'm a dad. She knows where to go, doesn't she? Yes, she does indeed. Yeah, it's a very pretty hat she has on also. Yeah, she's been to a Maypole dance today. Has she? Yes. Uh-huh. You want your hair cut? No. Gloria. Oh, have your hair cut. I'll just take her hat off. Do you mind? I don't want my hat off. Oh, have it off, dear. Have your hat off. You mustn't wear a hat when you're having your hair cut. No, <laughs> indeed. She has two hats, doesn't she? Yeah. Maybe she better keep her hat on. Might not be bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Now, look here. I know what she likes. There's a nice stick of candy for you. No, aren't you ashamed? Yeah. That's the barbershop candy. I have plenty of it. Do you think they were really chasing the bandit, Mr. O'Hare? Sure they was. For two pins, I'd close this shop and go over and get them and choke them to death with my bare hands. That's the way we used to choke wolves to death years ago in the Northwest. I belong to the Bare Hand Wolf Chokers Association. Had to choke a wolf to death where you could belong to the so Ronald. Huh? You want to hear another 
<laughs> not now, Ronald, not now. I'm not in the mood. Go upstairs and eat your spinach. Never mind, Mr. O'Hare. I know you caught the bandit. I know I caught him, too. What's the good of arguing with those people? They're all nervous. You can't talk to them at all. Come on, Lena. Let's go to her. Devils are just as lively as can be, too. Lena, how could you? 